morning, Swalter Nation. How are you guys? It's been a great morning so far. I'm just finishing up my coffee in my hammer cup. Again, I've said this before. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Oh, you look really pretty. You look pretty. Thanks, baby. Courtney's been on a seven day juice fast. Yep. Hey, dog, you can't bark right now. I'm starting a video. Wait, who's who's running? Oh, oh I was like, oh uh, hi, this is Courtney's mom. <laughs> <laughs> I've been eating like crap since I got back from New York. I've just been tired eating like crap. So, oh, hi. Oh, hi. So, um, I've been eating like crap. One of the best ways to stay accountable, though, is to show you guys today what in fact I'm gonna be eating. So we're on week five pretty much of the, I'm doing the swole program. So I'm just gonna go over here to my macros. As you guys can see, it has all the macros, 227, 445, and 107. Again, this is for getting bigger. These are my macros. What I'm gonna do, because I had just such a crappy weekend full of carbs, I'm gonna go 230 on the protein. I'm gonna go 300 drop it by 145, and then I'm gonna go 90. So, 230, 300, 90 fat. So yesterday I took the dog for a walk. It wasn't a walk, she didn't move at all. So I posted on Instagram, a lot of people were saying, Steve, you gotta let her wear the harness and leash around the house. And I did that a little bit. Here's what happens, ready? Hi, will you walk this way? Come here, come here. She doesn't wanna move. Come here, here, get your toy. Get your toy, there you go, get your toy. She loves this toy. There you go, there you go. Look at that, how cute is that? Unicorns and everything. She loves laying in the sun. All right, dad's gotta go to the store. Love you, bye. Groceries for this morning. I need four packets of frozen bananas, one pack of strawberries, one pack of blueberries, and a bag of granola. I also need almond milk, maybe, maybe a buttercream donut. I'll just show you what they look like, and then you guys decide. There it is. That is my favorite donut in the world. The buttercream maple buttercream donut. It's amazing. I'm just admiring the donuts for my YouTube channel. And that's why I brought you guys along, because had you guys not been here, I would have definitely got that donut. And I probably would have felt bad about it for a second. No, I wouldn't have. But thank you guys for being here and supporting me. <sighs> I have to get frozen bananas now. Four frozen bananas. Dad, you're hot. Pad to complete All right, breakfast time. <laughs> Mamas are here. I'm surrounded by girls. Wow. <laughs> Jackie boy, wake up. And then you're a girl too. All right, what are we making for breakfast, ladies? I'm ice making cream. Strawberry. Ice, ice cream, cream for breakfast? Yep. Yeah. How, how was Healthy. Arizona? It was wonderful. I loved it. Yes. Oh, we're all very up. impressed with Courtney's <laughs> Ice cream. Smoothie bowls. Oh, wow. Do you love ice cream for breakfast? Yeah. It's fruit. It's healthy. Aunt Courtney's giving you ice cream. You should open up your own spot. I want to. Thumbs up for George. Courtney doing all this amazing stuff for people. While everyone else is having their morning ice cream, I got my eggs. Two whole eggs, five egg whites. I'm gonna scramble them. Let's scramble them right now. My favorite oatmeal. No, it's not any oatmeal. It has to be Coach's oats. They're just a whole lot chewier, and it makes my day a whole lot better. Little blueberry action and almond milk. Counting this into my, my fitness pal. Here's the issue. It's not even 12 o'clock yet and I'm starving. That breakfast did not fill me up. The egg whites and the eggs, it wasn't that many calories total, so I'm starving. Everyone's gone. So my snack right now, an apple. It's gonna be two ounces of beef jerky, an apple, and some almonds. Finished up my little snack just in time for a podcast I'm gonna be on. We're jumping on this podcast right now. It's a friend back in Idaho. Um, haven't done a lot of podcasts. Want to actually start doing more. Here we go. Self-discipline is, is just like a muscle. We have so much of it during the day, we're constantly bombarded with decisions to make. You know, what clothes to wear, what food to eat, um, decisions with business, decisions with family. So all these, all these decisions take, you know, self-discipline, self-control, and ultimately it weakens just like any other muscle. So in, in doing that, if you can create habits that no longer take self-control or self-discipline, you go through the schedule of the day and those things that are habits, they don't take any of that, they don't weaken that 
that self-control muscle. So I tell people, yeah. just make it a habit. It's the first thing, you know that you set up yourself with a schedule, you know that you know from 9 to 10 a.m. once the kids get out the door, boom, I'm going to the gym, I'm spending an hour there, I'm gonna do some stretching, or I'm gonna switch it up, but that's, that's, that's every day. You, you just do that, and then all of a sudden, it's, you, know, you don't have to think about it, you don't have to motivate yourself to do it, you're just doing it. For lunch, I can only be one place. Oh my gosh, I love Chipotle. Chipotle is my life. Oh my god, I love Chipotle. Chipotle is my life. Can I get a burrito bowl, white rice, half the black beans in a row, uh, pity chicken? Sure. Would you like to have queso on the entree or let's the side do, Let's do. Okay. Double chicken and then veggies, pico. Let's do lettuce and then mild and hot. That right there, that's a thing of beauty. You know it, I know it. You know the best part about this jacket is too? I'm never losing my phone. The reason I bought this jacket because I actually like the style. Oh my gosh, Nay, I love Chipotle. Chipotle is my life. Oh, that was good. You did that well. <laughs> One of my favorite things about Chipotle is you actually go online and you can create exactly what you're putting in your bowl. Although, I do think my man at the counter, I think he went ham on the chicken, so I'm gonna have to add a couple extra grams of chicken to this, but that is a thing of beauty. Nay just left, and I'm gonna have some of her queso. I'm not tracking this in my macros. I'm not, you can't make me, you can't make me, you're not my mom. Oh, hey. Hey. How's it going? Nothing to see here. That's heaps good, mate. I'm, I'm practicing my Australian lingo. So that way, when I hit ground in Australia, I hit the ground running. What are some other words, Aussie words? Uh, heaps means like, like that's really good, that's heaps good. That's more Kiwi though. Nah. Do you know what else is also Australian? <laughs> they say that a lot. I'm just quoting people. I don't really, I don't really use that kind of language. My mom would wash my mouth out with soap. Um, what else? Macca's is McDonald's. Um, yeah, I don't know. I need Cal Von Moger here. He says that C word a lot and makes me laugh. <laughs> Cal, you're so funny. We are about to go work out after I go to Waffle Love because it's right next to Chipotle. And I still have Matt. Psych, I'm not going there. It's, if you guys weren't here, I definitely would be. Thanks guys for keeping me honest. The gym, <laughs> gonna get a lift in. Yeah, 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 nah. That's an Australian thing too, right? Nah, nah, yeah, or yeah, yeah, nah? Yeah, yeah, nah. Yeah, like, nah. like you're listening to someone when they're talking, yeah, yeah, nah. Yeah, yeah, nah. Yeah, yeah, nah. <laughs> yeah, nah. Nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, nah. Do you think the treadmills are gonna be there when we're getting there? Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. All I know is we have these treadmills coming to the gym, and if they're not there today, I'm gonna be punching people in their face, man! Just like I almost punched that four-year-old that cut in front of me in line at Chipotle. I know where you live. Yeah, nah. Yeah, nah. So, leave for Australia on the Saturday. And then wait, I have this on the back. Eating Aussie food, spelled O-Z-Z-Y. Melbourne art exhibit. The botanical gardens there are like my favorite botanical gardens ever. Okay, so I wanna do more like voiceovers, film stuff not looking at the camera. How did you look at the camera? <laughs> <laughs> now I'm getting creative, watching that Will Smith video. We just watched the Will Smith video in Melbourne. It was super creative. Shut Good job. Up, <laughs> stay, you stay jiggy with it, man. Na 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 na. I really have this like deep down burning desire to be a good film person, but like even deeper below that desire, there's a bigger desire that's burning even hotter for Jason to be this amazing. <laughs> <laughs> to, to be good at that. That's, that's, that's messed up. No, Jason kills it. Straight up. Jason absolutely kills it. All right, that's the creative segment of the day. Let's go pump some iron. So I came to work out, and lo and behold, we're delivering treadmills! That way people can get their cardio on. Everyone's like, Steve, when are the treadmills coming? Well, free motion showed up. Yes, sir. How are you guys? Doing good. How are you? I'm gonna be the first person to run on this. All right. There. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Push toes. I just feel good. <laughs> Walking here. Oh yeah. How fast does this thing go? Uh, you get 12? 90 miles to the gallon <laughs> on this hog.
No more bulking, Steve. Time to get some cardio in. This is the position I like to assume. Really good for my back. Oh, guys, this is Steven proof. Yeah, I think if you. Also known as idiot proof. Oh, I can just watch everyone do. Hey, I'll go all the way down on your push ups. See, that's what I'm gonna be doing from here. All the way, good job. All the way down. Good job, guys. All right, you're on camera. Don't worry about it. Just over here doing my cardio. Doing my cardio. Killing that cardio every day. Also the cardio, they don't tell you about. You can actually move it and then run with it. Skip warm up, not recommended. You should always warm up. What's the weight, what's the weight limit on this? 400. I'm getting there, that's why I need to start doing cardio. So I look like a, so I look like a track star yet? All right, I haven't been doing cardio. Is that all the way? First cardio session in the books. Between the two, it was two minutes. Wow, for real though, I'm out of shape. I need to get my cardio game on. Confession time, I did not actually work out with weights yet. I did that little stint of cardio on our new cardio machines, and then I got a text from my mom, who's in town, who you guys met earlier, and she's having, she's taking care of my grandparents. So my grandparents are almost 90. I told them I'd come over here and eat. We're over here with this little one. Come here, come here. Hey, let's go inside you. Ugh. She's feeling a little bit nervous outside the house, aren't you? Let's go inside. So here is what I'm going with tonight. Little bison patty. It has, what does it have? 28 grams protein, 36 grams carbs, and nine grams fat. So the hard thing about grandma's house, they always have all these goodies. They have bread pudding and like some other little treat. Fig Newtons, which are my favorite from back in the day. But I'm sticking with my bison patty up here. And maybe I'll have a slice of garlic bread with it. Got Jeopardy on. So I filmed myself talking on it for YouTube. Yeah, and then you can see yourself right in that little camera there, so. And there's the mic up top. But that's what I do. Love you. Love you, mama. Thank you very much. You ready to go? Come on. Come here, you. Oh. Love you. So, got home from grandma and grandpa's, calculating all of my my calories right now, and I'm <laughs> I'm only at 167 grams protein, 190 grams carbs, and 51 grams fat. Now, I didn't work out today, and I wanted to go out to the gym, or after I saw my grandparents tonight, I ended up staying there way too long, and I don't feel bad, I don't feel guilty. Um, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and go, but my grandma hasn't been hasn't been doing well, that's why my mom is in town from Idaho, love having my mom here and seeing them. But it's heartbreaking to see your grandparents, you know, 89, 90 years old going through this. And you know, yesterday I put up a video where I showed you guys all my shoes and everything like that. And there's some people being like, oh, materialistic. It kind of got to me a little bit today. But I, I don't think I show you guys the other side. Yeah, you know, I, I buy, you know, some nice shoes. I don't have to worry about buying, you know, gym clothes. So I spend more money on, on shoes than I probably should. But I feel like, you know, I take care of, my family first like grandparents when they need something I, I, I try to be the one like if they need my grandma needed a chair to that would race her out of there and not that I need to toot my own horn but it's like YouTube doesn't see a lot of that I'm not gonna go around like oh I bought my grandma a chair blah 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 but I want everyone to know family to me comes first serving other people come first and I typically don't like to show my grandparents or you know my family too much because that's that's personal but I do share most things with you guys and that, those comments kind of, I guess, hurt me a little bit because I don't want people that really know me to think I'm materialistic. But anyhow, it doesn't need to be talked about anymore. It was it was amazing to see my grandparents and I, and I would gladly give up going to the gym leg day <laughs> to, to see them. Now, that being said, I'll back off the calories here tonight. You know what? I got to figure out something else to eat because I'm going to end up with around 200 grams protein, 200 grams carbs, and 75-ish grams of fat. So... We're gonna find some to eat and I'll show you that. For my last meal of the night, or her last snack, I should say, we're going with cinnamon checks. I'm gonna mix this with a protein shake, and then we're doing a rice cake creation. Two rice cake with a tablespoon of almond butter. If you think peanut butter is better than almond butter, we're not friends. 16 grams of fat, top it. 
with a little bit of this purely Elizabeth granola. Don't tell Courtney I'm stealing her granola. I act like I don't love it, but secretly I do. And then I'm gonna go with a little bit of plant-based protein that's up there that Courtney started me on, which I actually kind of like. All right guys, <laughs> I started eating it before I told you what the macros were total for the day. This is like Muddy Buddies, you know, like Chex, Chex cereal Muddy Buddies. So 206 protein, 254 and 77. This is a lot lower than what I would typically get. Obviously I didn't work out today and I had a really, uh, we'll say calorically dense weekend. So I feel perfectly fine eating this tonight. A lot, a lot off on my carbs, like 150 grams on my carbs. I'm about 20 grams off on my protein is all. And I'm about 13 gram, no, 23 grams off of my fat content. So tomorrow we're gonna wake up, we're gonna train hard. I'm gonna eat this, go to bed. Rip Poppy, you ready to go to bed? Hey Poppy. Oh, now you do. Dad loves you. YouTube Yolt loves you. Smash the like button and also subscribe for Poppy. Yeah, Poppy. We love you. Good night, guys.